Um, hi, I'm with Dr. David Gent, Kids at Foot and Ankle. This is Kim with SINstability.com, talking at my five day or four day, how many days it is, since surgery on Friday. It's now a Tuesday from my surgery that we had endoscopic gastric soleus recession. And go ahead. So basically, on uh, Kim's uh, right leg, she had a tight Achilles tendon, which wasn't allowing for full range of motion of her ankle and it was not allowing for her to do full uh, toe push off uh, and then uh, the appropriate heel strike. It was actually causing her to do an early uh, heel lift. And all of this was creating a, a lot of biomechanical dysfunction on her right side compared, compared to her left side. So what we did was we did an incision. Uh, this is her left leg, but we made an incision in her uh, medial one third of the lower leg and we went across and then endoscopically we we transected the aponeurosis of the gastroxoleal complex in order to create a lengthening of that uh, structure so that the achilles tendon have more motion and it's it's only about a five to uh, to 10 millimeter lengthening so it's, it's really well controlled we don't want a lot of, of uh, uh, lengthening because we don't want to create a dysfunction there and so this uh, this is a wonderful procedure for being very uh, uh, corrective with that without overdoing it the uh, the aftercare included having a uh, by a uh, posterior splint uh, that we put on in surgery but now she's going to be going home and so she's going to have this on uh, for the next uh, three weeks time while she is uh, just stretching and lengthening so that it does not allow for the the foot to hang loose and uh, so we're putting her in a cast I'm going to bivalve it up the sides so that it'll allow for any swelling that she might have uh, during this time and then also so that she can take it off in order to have sutures removed and um, be able to uh, do a little bit of a sponge bath on the area and then even bathe it once uh, the sutures are out uh, so Kim's doing great. Uh, she, we've got her at 90 degrees with her ankle. Uh, so we've got her a little uh, a continuous stretch on that. And she will just uh, do some physical therapy once we get her out of this uh, cast and keep her going so she can do a lot more. Yeah, I had surgery with him back at, I looked on my record, back at towards the end of the year 2014 on my left leg. And it's been great success, and, and as I balanced myself and trained my body, it just became all the more aware of how much the, work, the right one was tight all along at the same time. And like I said, I, I could recognize it when I'd be on an elliptical machine. I could feel the early heel lift off in comparison to my other leg, and I could feel like when I wanted to fully dorsiflex my ankle, I could not fully extend my knee, you know, lock out my knee. So I'm very grateful and thankful to you, Dr. Jen, for helping me again, and we're looking for great results. Thanks. Thank you.